Hello, everybody. Well, that, I thought that was an amazing panel. I, I must say, I, there's so many um, different points of view, and this is this is what I've always hoped for um, with with LGB Alliance because the the way in which debate and discussion of sex and gender issues in this country, in the UK, has been um, suppressed, I think it's just really quite shocking. And um, we, we're hardly even used to listening to people with different points of view. And I, I just, I really can't bear that. And um, I know that it's difficult sometimes to hear, to pe hear um, people who with whom you disagree, but we, we have to do it. We have to do it. And we, 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 LGB Alliance is an organization set up to fight, um, uh, to, to support the rights of LGB people, to, to fight homophobia, to, to, and that will, it's very clear, isn't it? That when you hear somebody like uh, in, um, um, in Uganda, where it's it literally against the law to be homosexual and yet Isaac is there um, running um, Pride and coming here and talking openly. And it's just um, quite astonishing, I think, the courage of somebody like that. It, it really makes me feel so humble, as I said in the in the previous chat. Um, now, um, so I just, just want for the people who didn't come on Wednesday, I just want to say, uh, you know, how happy we are that we're, this was our second conference. We had 600 people attending this time. Um, and um, it's just, we believe that these conferences um, really play an, an important role in moving, moving us forward in, in our discussions. And um, some of you were, were unable to come to the conference because of the timetabling with Philia and um, travel difficulties. But um, now you are able to see all these videos and, and I, I do hope that you enjoy them and that you give us your feedback. People um, who did attend will be getting a questionnaire for feedback um, on, on a, what you think of the, what you thought of the conference and what you feel should, um, could be done um, better. Um, so if the, the conferences are expensive events. So if you do feel um, um, that you, you're able to um, to press the dollar button at the bottom and perhaps make a small donation, we'd be we'd be very very grateful. But um, so I'd like to um, we we can we have got um, Derek with us so that you you can um, ask him uh, your questions about. I, I hope everybody realizes this is an extraordinary moment in the United States at the moment. I mean, American democracy is really hanging in the balance right now, and so. Um, for a, a, a Democrat, or originally a, a Democrat, to be fighting on the, in these battles, it's, it's really hard. Um, and I, I really appreciate it um, tremendously. And I'm very, very happy that Derek came. Um, I don't know if any of our other participants are here. Um, Fika said she would try to come, but she got COVID from one of the conferences and um, her, her little child got sick. Um, yes, Derek. Yes, Derek is the person. Who, but let's. I. I mean, I, uh, let's have a brief conversation of, about um, uh, about this, uh, these um, pronouns. Derek, you noticed that uh, that people that, that 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 some women got very upset about you calling um, Rachel Levine she. Um, have you had that reaction before, Derek? Perhaps you could react in the chat whether you were surprised or whether you've often had that reaction and whether whether you understand why. Um, uh, sorry, um, excuse me, Shikana Feminist. Derek doesn't belong to the Alliance. I made it very clear at the beginning that every single person who came to, um, our conf to, to this panel was speaking um, on an individual uh, in his own uh, um, personal capacity, wasn't representing LGB Alliance, wasn't representing the Democratic Party or anybody, uh, uh, simply his own view. Um, so, uh, Derek, it was very new uh, um, to um, for him to hear this criticism, and I think it was probably very, um, very uh, um, interesting and useful, just as it is for us to listen to each other. Um, Derek, um, some women, many women, um, find it extremely offensive to call um, a male person she. Uh, and um, I, I must say, I, 
I don't like it much. Uh, certainly, in, in the case of someone like Rachel Levine, I'm, I'm a, bit, a bit more moderate in this area. But um, hey, Fikers are here as well. But um, I do. I, it really upset me that some people got so hung up on that particular issue that they couldn't listen to all the other valuable things that were saying. And I, I think we, that is something that I don't think is helpful. I think it's probably a good idea to try to not to get totally bogged down, bog, uh, um, bogged down in, in one particular issue that you disagree with someone with. But but Derek, I, I would like you to perhaps think about that, um, that, that some people find it really offensive. But let's not only talk about... Um, so, so the thing is that, Derek, what you call misgendering, uh, many people don't don't think, uh, many people here don't don't accept that word because we we don't we don't particularly have a gender. We only have a sex, and therefore we don't think that misgendering is a thing. And I, but we understand that you come from a different context within which um, within which it is um, common to to use um, preferred pronouns. Now that's all I want to say about it. Derek comes from that context. We have a different context and we have now exchanged views on that. And I think we should just move on to a different a different um, a different subject. Um, so I would like to ask you, um, uh, Fika, um, you mentioned um, about um, uh, the notion of have of setting up intergen intergenerational um, dialogue. Um, oh yeah, I will say something. About, thank you, KFP. I'll, I'll say something about Fred Sargent in a minute. But um, if I could, um, I'd love to hear Fika's views on this. Oh, I'd like to hear everybody's views actually on Fika's idea about intergenerational dialogue because it's so worrying, isn't it, that that so many young people find our views. It, that it's difficult for us to to communicate sometimes. Um, I don't know if if anybody wants to react to that, because um, otherwise I'll. Um... Oh, oh, they're still on misgendering. <laughs> All right, so I, I'll just leave the uh, the intergenerational um, dialogue for a second. Fred Sargent, yeah, I, it's it's absolutely wonderful, and Fred Sargent. Um, has um, even set up a uh, is setting up an LGB alliance in Vermont, and um, and that is is terrific. And he's been incredibly supportive of LGB alliance um, from the beginning. And as you know, maybe from the first interview that I did with him, um, that he um, said that it was always the the lesbians um, who um, were the organisers, even at the beginning of of gay liberation and of Pride. And that it's now the lesbians who are organising in, in LGB alliance as well. Now, FICA says we need broad alliances. If we stop listening to each other because we don't like the language, ideas or concepts someone uses, we're not far from the dogmas we're trying to break ourselves. I totally agree with that, FICA. We, we, you, you can't, as soon as you do that, don't, don't you notice how tra trans activists, as soon as you say a particular word, they say, oh, you're being transphobic, and then they can't hear anything else you say. Um, we agree about, you know, the, the, uh, this pronoun thing, but if you focus only on that and you cannot hear anything else that someone says, I just don't think that that's helpful. Um, so, um, oh, thank you very much, KFP, about the interview on lesbian labor. Um, that was, yeah, it was really fun to talk about personal things. And yes, um, so Fika says, I grew up as a lesbian with women of all generations around me in the bars and restaurants, and also not with other students, but from all spheres of life. And I found that very enriching. Yeah, you know, I, I have to say one reason I moved to Holland is I, I really like the way that people mix with all kinds of different people here, as opposed to only mixing with people who are very similar to yourself. Um, and um, let's, um, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're not captured. We're not captured. Capture is, is when you believe in ideology so much that you, um, that you swallow it and um, propagate it and don't accept anything else. That's precisely not what we are. We're, we're not captured at all. We uh, are trying to build bridges with people who have different points of view. Um, so, um, Toss says homophobia is common in young people around 
uh, uh, around me and my children so much more than in the past. Uh, Toss, are you are you in Holland or in 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 the UK? Um, I wasn't quite sure, but um, but that's terrible to to hear that that there's more homophobia today um, than there was um, in the past, and it's. I know that some people will say um, that that is because of the overreach of the gender identity ideologues, uh, and um, that that is is really it's very disturbing. It's very oh New Zealand oh toss good heavens isn't it the middle of the night for you? Um, but that's really it's really shocking if um, homophobia has increased in our countries and New Zealand is another country which has a lot of captured institutions and um, yeah Louise says um, we, we can't seem to have the freedom to date women born women without being called transphobic yeah it's just so shocking that you have lesbian dating sites um, where um, women who say that they only um, are, are interested in other biological women, that that is, which is what a lesbian is after all, um, are being thrown off and um, and all these uh, male-bodied people are allowed in and we must be able to have lesbian spaces. Um, so June is asking FICA where the spaces are now. That's the problem, those public spaces are dwindling and yet we must have role models for young people or all these young women who think that they've got, got to become men. Um, thanks, Dave. It was a powerful session. Um, and um, I, 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 I thought that, that all four speakers uh, broadened my outlook tremendously um, from... Um, yeah, and uh, Alex, gay men are being kicked off their dating sites too. Wow, that's incredible. You mean that that so Alex is telling us that it, that if gay men say they're only interested in in men who are actually you know sort of biological men that they're also getting kicked off dating sites. This is this is real homophobia, isn't it? Um, but Simon has never experienced any homophobia. Well, I mean you're very lucky, and I don't know why that is. Um, but that is 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 extraordinary. Um, a fighting force from Star Wars. I'm sorry, Anne. Is this a compliment? I'm not quite sure. It is okay to have a plurality of opinions and, and perspectives. No, we're we're not a dogmatic organisation that tell people how to behave and what to believe. We want to create a space. God, I nearly said a safe space. Sorry. We, we do want to create um, uh, places where people can discuss openly um, the, the things that we believe. Um, so Lightspell says, 27, and all the lesbian and bi spaces I have are in people's homes. We find each other through feminist... God, it's as if pe lesbians have gone underground. We need for more visible networks so we don't just find each other online by coincidence. That's really, really shocking. And uh, Menno got called a homophobic slur in Sainsbury's just last week. Menno, did you react to that? Are you going to tell us if you reacted when you were called a homophobic slur? Or, um, well, it's all very well to say don't use dating sites, Simon, but how do you, I mean, um, it's not always easy. I found my wife on a dating site, I have to say. Um, is it, 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 you can't just say don't use dating sites. It's not always possible. Um, so, wait a minute, Richard, I'm not sure what, what Richard is talking about here. Who was exasperated? Um, hang on, I'm having trouble um, scrolling up the chat because Richard must have said something earlier. Ah, here we are. Um, so Richard says, when I volunteered at the LGB Alliance um, stall at the Festival of Ideas, a lot of the festival volunteers who were in were in their 20s, were speaking with us a lot. Yeah, there's a great need, isn't there? So maybe Richard is saying I'm exaggerating about, about young people. I often think it's it's particularly young people who've been to university who seem to have been indoctrinated. Um, and um, 
and I find that young people who who haven't been to university are much more open. Um, but they so they were exasperated about the tone. That's these young people who went to see Richard. Rich Richard is works with us. Uh, were exasperated about the totalitarian nature of the, the totalitarian nature of their peers on sex and gender, which they found off-putting. Well, that's great, um, but they were then at the festival of ideas, which obviously will attract people like that. Uh, um, we can't have women-only spaces. I mean, it's not quite as bad as it is in Tasmania. You remember, in Tasmania, it was recently ruled that you just couldn't have. A lesbian event it would be uh, uh, against the law um and lolly says um uh, is thanking us and um thank you lolly for, for 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 saying that um you um lolly detransitioned and the difference between being lesbian a few years ago before transitioning and now is depressing everyone is trans yeah and i mean i i, I get so shocked every time i look on the um uh, uh, on the GoFundMe, all these um, young women who were having their breasts removed. Um, it's really quite, um, it, it, and people who find that more and more young women are having their breasts removed. Um, I'm looking at, at the remark from Lightspell about um, older about the gig economy. I'm not quite understanding what you're saying there. Um, so we need, yes, we need to hear more from survivors of um, uh, of abuse. But um, but we also, I I I, I want to focus um, on the positive aspects of being lesbian, gay, and bisexual, and not, um, so I, 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 as much as possible, we'd like to focus on the positive. And that means um, creating more role models. And um, for instance, and, and also it, it, when we object, we had um, major objections to the LGBTQ plus um, RSE guidance in Wales, but um, it, it's, and it's good that we criticized it, but I think, that it's even better if we present examples. What do we expect? What do we expect? We want positive role models for LGB people. We want um, we we want good um, examples of books and, and uh, music that they could listen to. Oh, here's um, Heart of Defiance is in Tasmania, and is saying, please stand up, keep standing up for LGB rights as hard as you can, and that you've lost so many. Yes, I realise it's um, it's absolutely horrific in Tasmania and I'm I, I hope that you will be able to claw your way back there is there are some signs um in in Australia that um that some of the psychiatrists are realizing that mistakes have been made with young people which I think that's what concerns me most I suppose is this terrible terrible thing um about young people taking hormones and and, and eventually going on to take surgery and it's there is something terribly homophobic about it um and this is um it, it's the thing that concerns me most um thank you very much sidsey for calling me a fantastic role model i don't know if that's always true uh, um um but I, I i do my best to to listen um i've got very wise daughters who always tell me to listen to other people and not not to be too. In fact, even my granddaughter said to me, "If I, if if you're, if if you if you say that you're trying to save all the girls, you're just exaggerating, and 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 then people won't listen to you." She said, "You've got to be more 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 down to earth." All right. So I do my best. I listen to my daughters, my granddaughters. Um, let's see. Um, glorifying children the way children yeah uh, i mean there's a there's a kind of um this is light light spell is saying glorifying with children the way children know so much more intuitively than us adults yeah i mean it's just not true is it anyone who's brought up children know that the point of an adult is to help children and not to follow them um self-id is not the law everywhere um women in the uk 
can have lesbian only spaces and women only spaces yes um theoretically but it isn't easy is it um i don't think there are any lesbian bars left for instance in the uk i mean it's not that they are illegal because you know that there are um you know there's provision for exceptions in in the equality act um but it isn't um it isn't uh it isn't easy um let me see what else um so um lightspell is saying this um there's an idea that young progressives are always better than older progressives that new ideas are always better yeah i suppose some some people who are progressive um have this very naive idea that that everything is new which is new is always better which is of course uh, unfortunately not true and so much is uh, has been caused by the fact that people in all all over the world are contacting each other suddenly through internet without it's it's gone too fast hasn't it it's gone too fast and these kids are growing up online Re um, kfp talks about reclaiming our stolen history yes let's reclaim it sometimes people post these wonderful pictures of of, of gay and lesbian um marches and uh, demos that, that from the 1970s and 1980s. I'd love to see more of that um, and more um, more writings about what it was like to live through those years, um, the, the 1980s, of course, for, for gay men dominated by, by, um, by the uh, AIDS crisis and, um, and the, the kind of solidarity that we, that we had there. Um, whereas now, um, I think we're living we're living through an area, uh, um, an age of, of homophobia within the um, LGBTQ movement, and that's why we need to separate the LGB from TQ, which is a, is a different movement, and we we need to separate it. Um, and if I think, uh, if if for instance Stonewall had chosen to 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 help a, a trans organisation set up um, instead of bringing um, gender identity, the whole idea of gender identity into Stonewall, then many of the problems that have arisen in the UK and elsewhere wouldn't have arisen. Um, lived experience, <laughs> yes, until you're too old. That's very funny. Uh, uh, Menno, um, they, they bang on about lived experience. I've got tons and tons and tons of lived experience, but it doesn't count anymore because I'm so ancient. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I, nobody's saying anything about this intergenerational dialogue. Has anybody managed to um, set up anything um, with between young and old people, um, uh, or, or not young and old, but but say people in their twenties and people in their fifties, um, that ways of talking to each other. Obviously, very often we have to deal deal with parents who are unable to communicate with their children, or vice versa, that they seem to inhabit different worlds, and we've got to break through that if we're going to move forward. Um, I think that's one of the one of the most important things. I keep thinking of trying trying to think of ways of doing it which aren't too artificial. I mean, um, yeah, I'm going on a bit, aren't I? Are there any other questions? Because I'm just I'm just ranting a bit. Um, let's see. I'm just going back. Yes, to meeting people offline. Yeah. And it's fabulous. I totally agree. Men had set up this whole thing for me, so I'm very happy. Um, ah, Simon said, I personally don't use dating sites. <laughs> yeah, well. Um, Light space spell saying, um, I understand what you're saying about young people. In my experience, a lot of leftist spaces, leftist spaces will see intergenerational activism as a bit unnecessary. Yeah, I don't even mean activism. I just mean talking to each other. I just mean listening to people who have different views. And that's what we were trying to do this evening. 
Um, and I honestly don't think we're very used to it. That somebody pointed out recently that that since we've moved online, that we we don't automatically come across people all day long who who have different views, and we're not very used to it. We 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 often feel uncomfortable if we're confronted with people who have different views. But the fact is, somebody who's working in Uganda or the United States or Austria is working in in a very different environment from us. Um, and sometimes your next door neighbor is working in a very different environment. And I just think we, we really have to learn to listen to each other. Um, let me see if there are any, no other questions. KFP, Menno. <laughs> Sidsy says, um, the problem with trying to reach young people is that the schools and teachers have been totally captured by gender. You know, I don't think all schools have. I, sometimes you hear about schools which are really resisting it, actually. I mean, I'm sure that it's true. I, I don't know if it's true of most schools. An awful lot of schools have been captured. But sometimes you hear of schools which are doing very well. And in fact, um, even in Amsterdam, I notice um, that some schools are captured and others aren't. Um, Sport, Anne says that sport worked well for me. Yeah, um, meeting older women in a space that wasn't all about intergenerational mixing, but was a by that was a byproduct. Yeah, that's really interesting. S um, sport and other recreational activities are spaces in which you meet people of, of, with different views and of different ages. Um, L. Martin says the young men online are able to tolerate hearing different views. But from my experience of being in the online fandom communities of young women, there's zero tolerance towards political diversity. That's very interesting. But um, I'm not sure if that's necessarily tolerance. Well, I don't know. I mean, I, I, there's different ways you might, you might interpret this. Um, so Toss says, I'm 56 and have tried to talk to the young people around me. They are pro-trans ideology and are not, are not interested in gay or lesbian rights. Well, that's very depressing, isn't it? More speaking events may be in different areas. Um, an intergenerational film. The next LGBT... Um, yeah, make videos with people interviewing each other. Yeah, that's interesting. Well, I, I, um, I'll i take that. I think that's an interesting idea. Um, but um, KFP, do you mean um, people with who, who really disagree with each other? Um, Harry Potter fandom had to cut ties with everyone except the two or three who also became LGB Alliance type. Yeah. What are the revolutionary ideas for LGB rights you mentioned in your keynote speech? No, it wasn't me. It was Kate, wasn't it? The, the revolutionary ideas. And um, I actually can't remember the revolutionary ideas that she had, but um, it was right at the end, wasn't it? Maybe somebody else can. Um, Derek says, as um, straight people who want to be allies and are protective, see, allies is one of those words, whoa, <laughs> and are protective of diverse gender expression, sometimes send a message that's unintentionally harmful that a body can be wrong. Yeah, I mean, everybody here will, will agree that the whole idea that a body can be wrong is just appallingly damaging to young people. Nobody's born in the wrong body. And I, I find it completely astonishing that there are hundreds of thousands of people um who who have become convinced that that you can be born in the wrong body body some some people suggested it's because america is such a religious country that they believe that that you can have you, everybody has a soul which uh, whereas the uk is very secular so, uh, you know most most um people in the uk tend to be atheists um yeah, that, there's no wrong way to be a boy and no wrong way to be a girl. That is what we taught people in the 1970s, to be quite honest, and the 1980s. So we've gone backwards, Derek. We did teach teach our kids that. Um, 
what happened to the Queen's film? Oh, that's a good question, because what happened is that it was supposed to premiere um, at the House of Lords, and it had to be cancelled um, because the Queen died. And um, so everything was cancelled that weekend. And then it, it was extremely difficult um, because of the timing to arrange a new place to have the premiere. I have to speak to Malcolm and I don't know, maybe Menno might might have some information about that. But, um, and it's been, it was retitled actually, um, um, very English days, I think. Um, the best way for these things is to see what's been successful in past movements and just copy them. Okay, June. <laughs> June Park, what were you thinking of? <laughs> what should we be copying from past movements? To be quite honest, I don't know if we've ever had a movement quite this damaging and quite this um, worrying um, in terms of um, capture by, by institutions. Um a Twitter campaign against LGB uh, um, erasure. Again, I mean, I, I, I understand Lux and I, I I can appreciate that. But again, we try, we are trying, and it isn't, it's very difficult to, to emphasize what we want to do um, in terms of positive. So as I say, positive role model, models, positive ideas about um, creating lesbian culture and gay culture and bisexual culture. And um, rather than always being against it, it, it we, we are trying to create um, a better world for LGB people. And we do need to be more positive than negative, I think, in the way that we do that. And it, it isn't always easy when you're when you're fighting people who are who are trying to suppress you. You just want to say, we don't want this, we don't want that, we don't, we can't, we're against this, we're against that. But that is not, I think, the, the best way forward. Sometimes we have to do that. But um if we can create uh, um attractive I, I thought that um, for instance. Malcolm's little film about um, puberty was so brilliant because it showed how magical and amazing the process of puberty is. It's just incredible. Um, and by showing that, it showed what a terrible, destructive thing it is to interfere with puberty. And I just thought, if we can, we, we need to create positive images and positive um, words. Uh, um, rather than constantly harping on about all the things that we we hate. Um, well, Anne says, thank you for including bisexual people. I think especially, I, I think it's really important because, um, or, I mean, I personally would say that the bisexual people experience discrimination mostly when, when they're in, in gay uh, or lesbian relationships, but not always. Sometimes bisexual people uh, experience um, discrimination um, from within the LGB movement and uh, um, as people who can't make up their mind or are being disingenuous or, or too uh, um, not, not committed, never committed to anybody. So there's quite a lot of prejudice against bisexual people, which I think is really troubling. And so it would be wrong to exclude bisexual people because bisexuality, like um, homosexuality, is about the kind of relationships that you form. And that's why LGB are so different from the all these um, identities that the TQ plus um, people uh, emphasize. And so I felt we did have to. I mean, there was a discussion about it. I felt we really had to. Um, what are you talking about an, old, an album? God, I've obviously missed something here. Um, Um, so actually, KFP, if you say gender, gender identity ideology is the biggest threat to a good world for LGB people just now, it may be in the UK, but surely not in Uganda, is it? I mean, in Uganda, where um, uh, you know homosexuality is is against the law, and people like Isaac are really go in fear of their lives. I mean, that is just. That's very, very different from the kind of world that we live. So I do think it depends on where you live. 
um, yeah, pro LGB. Yes, promote the positives. Don't give the trolls to, to the excuse to keep accusing us. And I, you know, I have to agree with Sidsi there. I, I, I think that that greater positivity, um, social. Yes, this is really good. What Teeps is saying here: um, LGB supporters can get involved in social media promotion of gay and lesbian life in TikTok. And I think that that is what um, uh, Hannah uh, uh, is involved in. Um, you remember that. Um, Hannah was involved in the, and Shay did that, the final um, session for those who came to the conference, it, it will be online soon, which was really fascinating about the way particular ideas have migrated from Tumblr to TikTok uh, and uh, other platforms. And they are, they are trying to, to do that on, on TikTok. And it, it is really important. Um, yes, the, the, there is. Um, there's a growing youth um, uh, contingency. Finally, it's 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 was. It took quite a, a while to get um, younger people um, interested, but um, now there are. There's quite a lot of young people now joining in, and there's um, a student group, I believe, forming. So if you are um, uh, under whatever it is, 30, 35, I'm not sure what what their view of of youth is under 30, I suppose, um, and you're interested in getting vo involved in that. Obviously, only 18, we, we are not, um, we, we, we're not involved with, with underage people in, in LGB Alliance. Um, yeah. More films, a film about LGB history. Yeah, I mean, I just loved that film, Pride. I, I thought it was just so amazing. And we do need more films like that. With the, because it's extraordinary the way our, our history has been um, misrepresented. Uh, it, it, it's amazing. And uh, 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 I think American activists in particular try to plant their incorrect view of American um, LGB activism on the rest of the world. Uh, I mean, I was <laughs> there at the beginning of LGB uh, of um, of the Gay Liberation Front, so I just know that the, the way it's presented is just completely false. Um, so, Light Spell says I've met found many youth on Tumblr. It's not the best platform. No, but I, I've understood that people have all gone over to TikTok now. Um, don't rely on TV, focus on online platforms and physical events for fundraising. Yeah, no, I mean, definitely we, we do want to do that. Um, taking the conference, yeah, Simon has a very important point. Any chance of taking the conference to other places outside of London so more people can attend the speeches in person? We certainly do. We are talking about having an event in the summer um, in, in, in the north in, uh, um, of England because it is... Um, it's really, I, I do feel a bit embarrassed that all the, the, the events are so London based. And I think this is, it's difficult for, for people um, uh, in other places to travel to the conference. And uh, I totally appreciate your point, Simon, and we do think about it. Um, what's what's a convoluted way to find people, light spell? Um, I'm, I'm a bit... Uh, well, that's very kind of you, KFB, to say I'm, I'm dignified on Twitter. I mean, I, I sometimes will, um, you know, I'll formulate a tweet and I'll say, can I do that now? No, no, it's just not, it's not good enough and there's no point or whatever and then I delete it. But I try because I think if you, if you lower yourself to other people's level, even if they call you all sorts of names, then you're, you're not doing anything useful. Oh, I see. In TikTok, you show your face. Oh, that's interesting. But I thought Tumblr was more or less gone. I thought people weren't using Tumblr anymore. Every generation I've known has used YouTube. Yeah, well, I mean, maybe we should make more use of, of YouTube. And, um, you know, I think that's that's definitely something that we could do. Anyway, I think I probably should wind up. And I, I've really... 
you know, I mean, you've probably seen too much of me this week <laughs> on Wednesday and then again on Friday. Um, can I just ask you um, if you have enjoyed the events this evening and you are able to, I'd be very happy if you would make a small donation because um, the the conference obviously is very expensive and we do put these um, the, the events up free and um, it, it's, it's very, very much um, appreciated if people do... Um, make donations and and help us get on because uh, as you know we we are dependent um on um on individual donations um yeah the the yes the stats from the the survey yes that was so funny that they we didn't have those stats and so that that old, old those silly old um figures which were completely wrong were being put out there um so yes the tribunal as you know on monday and tuesday and so um, we'll be doing that. Um, and um, if you um, want to watch online, you have to apply to the, um, yes, monthly donations are definitely best. That's absolutely true. And um, so if you if you have a, uh, would like to set up a monthly donation, we'd be very, very much uh, appreciated. So thank you everybody for, for staying with me and uh, Let's all carry on agreeing and disagreeing and listening to each other, even when we, we don't particularly like what they're saying, because we need we need to listen to people with different views. Um, that's what we're here for. We're going to build bridges and we do stand for the rights of LGBT people everywhere. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>